The Kremlin is apparently breaking its silence on a deadly explosion that may have involved a nuclear-powered missile in northern Russia. Russia now saying radiation spiked up to 16 times the normal level and that accidents happen. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin live at the Pentagon. So when you and I got together yesterday, I said, can we trust what they're saying? Because they said this was remote and it was small. I've seen video where there's like a city in the foreground. Well, Harris, fortunately, it's a small city nearby with about 500 people as part of its population, but they are very scared still, and they don't trust the Russian government. Yesterday, the Russian government called for an evacuation of that small town in northern Russia where the missile exploded because of the high levels of radiation. But hours later, Moscow canceled the evacuation order, adding to the confusion. One missile expert I spoke to cast doubts about the missile's future. I think Russia really is developing a nuclear-powered cruise missile. This is a high-priority program for the Russians. I'm not sure that I believe Vladimir Putin's boast that the system is invincible. I think they're actually having a lot of trouble getting it to work, and I'm not sure it ever will work. The Russian Defense Ministry downplayed reports of a radiation leak, saying there was, quote, no harmful atmospheric discharges. Five days later, a special train was supposed to evacuate the 500 people who may have been exposed. Medics who treated the victims, including five dead Russian nuclear scientists, have been summoned back to Moscow for medical exams after being exposed to the high levels of radiation. The medics were forced to sign non-disclosure agreements about what they saw. Satellite photos show ships known to carry nuclear fuel in a restricted zone near the test site. U.S. intelligence officials believe the explosion was an engine test for the nuclear-powered cruise missile known as Skyfall, designed to fly anywhere in the world. The U.S. tried to develop a similar nuclear-powered cruise missile in the 50s and 60s, but abandoned the project because it didn't make sense to put a nuclear reactor inside a missile. From the shape of the cruise missile, this looks like it flies subsonically, below the speed of sound. So this is, this is more like, a, like an airplane. Not a hypersonic weapon like the one President Putin bragged about developing during a State of the Union speech last year.